Hi, well, we've had an inquiry at the weekend about um, transcribing within NVivo as opposed to doing it outside in something like Olympus or a similar device. And there are benefits to doing it inside NVivo. And as you'll see now from this tutorial, um, there is no difference in the process itself. So we're going to transcribe an audio file. This is a typical project and Peter is an untranscribed audio file. So I've opened them up and you can see the timeline here. To get them ready for transcribing I have to click here to edit and then this opens up the media tab automatically and I click on the transcribe button which allows me to transcribe. I can set the speed here to a generic speed fast, medium or slow or I can set it manually here according to my own typing skills. And I can increase the volume as well. The time span is going to be set automatically by the software. Um, and as I press F7 to play or pause to allow me to catch up, I can type as I listen to the tape. If I press F8 to stop the tape, it's going to move it to a new paragraph or row. So if you think of the paragraph really as a of the row as a line of uh, as a paragraph in Microsoft Word. I can also insert a column here which puts in speaker for example if I wanted to record say in a focus group the different speakers or interview or participant as you would in um, in a transcript. And if you insert the column you can auto code on those fields. In other words you could have you could remove the interviewer's voice completely and just search the participants' voices. Or in a focus group you could create the case nodes based on people's names or pseudonyms that you put into each column or row as they as they speak. I've also made one changing to the, uh, change to the setting here which is in the options I've gone to the audio tab and I've changed this to skip back two seconds so that when I do pause I can catch up, I can listen to the two seconds previously just to make sure that I've transcribed it correctly. So I'm ready to start and I press F7 and you can hear the this, tape start to roll. This one here is a group of volunteers in Florida. So I've heard enough, so I'm going to type what I've heard. Just a few more pictures. This one here is a group of volunteers in Florida and now I'm ready to press play again. This one here is a group of volunteers in Florida in the United States who are working on an environment conservation. And so I'm off again in the United States who are working on an environmental project and so forth. So when I've finished listening to uh, the, the speaker and I'm ready to move to a next logical break or a new segment, say when Peter starts to talk, I press F8 to stop the tape and you can see that the timeline will now be entered uh, as an end point for that particular segment and when I press F7 again to start the tape, I'm moved to a new paragraph. Basically cleaning up. And so I continue in that vein. Now that gives me absolute synchronization between the the audio file and the text. So I can code both. If I go to my nodes and I create a new node here, let's just call it test. And I code this segment to it, I get both. Which means if I open up the I can read the text or listen to the audio. The bit in white here is the bit that I've actually coded to that node. Which means, for example, that I can text search audio files and I can choose to listen or read as I'm rereading the nodes, say for coding on or further coding, so that I can better understand the content of the file. So the process is exactly the same as doing it outside, but with the benefits of total synchronization between the text and audio file.